Hi guys, I'm Rachel. Today I'm going to talk about 10 good things that I like about Malaysia. And there is something that I need to tell you guys first. Uh, the things that I'm going to talk in these videos are my personal opinions, not every Korean's. So let's get started. First, I think Malaysia local people are very kind. Uh, of course, not everybody, but most of all, I felt that in the office, at the restaurants, in the shopping malls, or even when I'm using Grab. In Malaysia, people even smile to strangers when they're passing by, and that's quite rare in Korea. If I smile to someone that I don't know in Korea, they might think that I'm very, very weird. Second, Malaysia is multicultural society. Most of the populations are Malay, but there are Chinese, Indian, and a lot of foreigners too. So English is a common language here and I have no problem communicating in English with people, which is a good thing. Of course, I cannot communicate in English all the time. Sometimes there's a situation requires speaking Malay, but still there's no problem living here with English. Also, Malaysia is a great country to learn other languages like Chinese, Malay, and Indian. Well, it's not kind of working for me very well at the moment, but I can also understand Chinese a little bit, really a little bit, and I can say that's kind of um, improvement. Um, anyway, Malaysia is a country with people from different cultures, so that was good for me to learn different cultures and meet foreign friends. And there are also a lot of food that I never tried in Korea before. Third one is Malaysian weather. This is really good for me, but for some people, it might not. Uh, because there are some people who hate summer. Malaysia is a warm country for a year long. It's not hot for me, it's warm. Of course, there's rainy season and it rains quite often, but uh, it's mostly like score and it stops in one or two hours. I don't like when it rains after work because it comes with terrible jam and I don't like to be in stock in the jam. <laughs> well, I told you guys in my first video before, I hate winter and I have a bad blood circulation problems. So Malaysia weather is just perfect for me. I think summer in Korea is way hotter and it's really humid. Well, I think Korea is also a very good country to shop. You don't really have to shop outside. The internet is very fast and it's very easy to do internet shopping and shipping is also very fast. But actually, I'm quite taller than other Korean girls, so it's not easy for me to shop clothes or shoes in Korea. The clothes made in Korea are mostly sure for me. And shopping in Korea is not easy for my husband either. He's really big and even Korea is a kind of shopping heaven, but it wasn't easy for us. So that's why we prefer to go shopping in Malaysia. I'm, I'm not sure why, but clothes in Malaysia are various in sizes and it makes shopping more easier for us. And Malaysia is always summer, there are lots of shopping malls so we can shop almost everything in one building since i prefer offline shopping to online shopping so malaysia was more convenient for me to shop um i think korea has also quite okay number of holidays but malaysia has more i counted number of holidays in this year 2019 and there were 18 holidays in KL. Of course, it depends on states. I, I think Malaysia has many holidays because it's multicultural society. There are Malay holidays, Chinese holidays, Indian holidays, and 
even though Malaysia is Muslim country, but they celebrate Christmas too. And, uh, and there's a very unique thing in Malaysia that's some kind of sudden holiday. Uh, one thing that I can remember is that when Selangor soccer team won some kind of match, I was in Selangor state before and I got sudden holiday because of that. I was very excited that day. Honestly, for a people who works for the company, more holiday is better than less holiday, isn't it? Uh, living cost in Malaysia is, of course, cheaper than Korea. Well, if I go for a lunch at work, I can have lunch around 6 to 7 ringgit. Uh, even though it's more expensive, it doesn't go up to 20-25 ringgit. So that is actually three times cheaper than in Korea. But if I eat in the Korean restaurant often and go to Korean supermarket to shop, that's more expensive than in Korea. <clears throat> and Malaysia is actually a Muslim country, so alcohol is very expensive. But I love local food and I don't drink that much, so those things are okay for me. Of course, the price of car is more expensive here, but petrol is way cheaper than Korea. And a utility bills like electric bill is also cheaper here. And when it comes to the same prices, I can stay at a better house in Malaysia. With the price that I can rent a studio in Korea, I can rent a three-bedroom house here. <clears throat> and also, deposit for renting a house in Korea is quite high, so it's quite a burden to young people like me. But deposit in Malaysia is normally 2.5 or 3 times than its rent. And Malaysia condominiums has a good facilities too. A swimming pool and a gym are basic. It depends on the condominium, but some houses got barbecue, sauna, and even badminton court. Malaysia is a country that there are lots of cat lovers, and cat products are also cheaper than Korea. Since I'm a cat lover and I have a cat, so I like Malaysia more because of that. In Malaysia, there are lots of people who fed stray cats and stray cats also don't afraid of people. Mm -hmm. They even come to me when I call them and they look very relaxed. And I met many local people who have a lot of cats at home. I am nothing special. Uh, they even have 7, 8, 9, more than 10 cats. Since AirAsia is Malaysia Airlines and KLIA2 is AirAsia Hub Airport, so it's quite easy to travel those vacation spots if you live in Malaysia. Thailand, Vietnam, and Indonesia are quite near here, and if you like those vacation spots, Malaysia is a very good country to stay. It wasn't easy for me to go to those vacation spots when I was in Korea, but after I come to Malaysia, I visited Bali, Hanoi, and also Krabi. Uh, Malaysia is a very relaxed country. I got used to those pali pali habits in Korea. So sometimes relaxation in Malaysia is not always comfortable for me. But I don't know why I've been so busy. Since I've lived here for a long time, I feel better this way. If you go to the airport in Korea, people rush or run or mostly Koreans. They walk or run so fast to go through the immigration, they just don't stand on the escalators. But eventually, I meet them in front of the baggage claim area. <laughs> Most of the big roads in Malaysia are highways, so it's easy to drive here because there are not many traffic lights. Um, that's why driving 10 kilometers in Malaysia feels much nearer than it's in Korea. And since Malaysia people are relaxed and very kind, they give away to other cars very well too. And also, they hardly sound klaxons on the roads. After listing all these things, it reminds me that Malaysia is really a great place to stay. I think I really love here. 
but again these are my personal opinions thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video don't forget to subscribe my channel and give a thumbs up Jay, why do you like Malaysia? Because Malaysia has many chicken dishes and they're cheap. So I like Malaysia. I love chicken. <laughs> I love Coco. Oh. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> That's all.